Alrighty, today's city challenge, the black side stealth, no scrambler, reinforced locks, and 15 minute. So we we don't exactly have scramblers here, right? It's still 15 minutes, which is not exactly surprising, it's Cyber's favorite. And then afterwards, hi there god. Cyber, don't tell me you lured the god. And aside from that, it's reinforced locks, which literally means that this is... Right. I suppose both of you are putting your hands up now, and I suppose that it... Let's not get caught by the camera because that's not what we're trying to do here. Now someone's gonna see that gun and they're gonna walk over here and it's gonna be bad. But my point here is reinforced locks is not really that much of a problem. Because there aren't that many doors to pick. And it's usually out of sight, so... It's really not like it matters, does it? Now we've taken out a few guards and we haven't even gotten a keycard yet, which means the last guard carries a keycard, which... Walk that way. Don't do this to me. Where are you going? Go somewhere else so I know it's gonna be safe. Surely, right? Perfect. Are you gonna stop there or not? I want you to look at me, right? Just gonna get your attention real quick. And if that god stay over there. Now you put your hands up. Give me that give give me that key card. Thank you very much. And then walk towards me. Now I assume that Cyber has Right, Cyber's carrying a bag now, which means Cyber has taken care of that guard and has subsequently bagged him up. And hey, look, Cyber's here to deposit a disguise. Now all we gotta do is go upstairs and then afterwards ignore these two cameras and then go inside. We probably shouldn't ignore these cameras because it's usually easier to pull out the gun first, but regardless, we will loot this camera too. And Cyber, you should loot that camera. And once we're done, we're gonna walk all the way back over here, not get caught by these guards, and then afterwards, subsequently, take them both out. Hi there, put both of your hands up. And then afterwards... Not shot the... We're not supposed to shout a guard, I don't think, but afterwards we're gonna... We're gonna put them in a chest, and then we're gonna move to the restricted area. Cyber, you should... There we go. Check this area. Nothing over there except for a camera, which is probably in the most infuriating spot ever, but regardless, we will walk past that. Cyber's gonna join me over here, and then afterwards we'll go over here to... Here of all places? Alright, never mind, there's not a guard over here. If we're sure it's safe after 8. I'm not waiting for that. We have to we have to wait, right? Surely. I mean we could lure the guard into this corridor, right? And gain ourselves a radio, but or at least lose a radio. But regardless, you know what? Let's do exactly that. We're gonna lure the guard over here. And then afterwards this entire corridor is clear. Side effect, there is not a guard in this area. Who is? Hi there, put your hands up. Cyber, you take care of that. And now all we gotta do is wait here. That guard's looking away, which means that I'm probably just gonna rush. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Put your hands up. We're gonna knock out this guard. And then let's see if there's someone else. How fantastic. There might be another guard up there. If that's the case, we might be having problems. Now before additional guards come over here, we should start moving you. Put your hands up too. And then afterwards, we actually have a lot of guards to take care of now. Cyber, you should probably help with actually bagging that. We do not want the guns to be visible. Alright, at least we do not want the, gu the guns to be visible on the staircase. I mean, if it's up here, it we're just going to knock out this guard. Cyber's going to take care of that. And we're going to try and make sure the gun's hidden. Because really... It would not be great, even though we could be doing just fine in this situation. Because a guard can just pick up the gun and then afterwards move on with their life without any problems. Now all we gotta do is move towards the cell block and then clear that area. No, absolutely. Sure. Alright. I mean, that's the side effect of trying to go into the same, <laughs> same place. But regardless, we're gonna go up here. And since this is the right opportunity, we will do exactly this. Put your hands up, get down, put your hands up, and then afterwards I assume Cyber is taking care of that. Cyber is taking care of this, I assume. Alright, and then we're gonna go over here, knock out that guard, and open up B. Cyber, I am not opening up C. You can take that drill, and if it is C, then I don't know what I'm gonna do, but... Seriously, Cyber? Just... Drill open that door, it's not that complicated. This door's opening and it is B, so Cyber, great job over there. I'm gonna go meet... Sorry. I'm gonna go meet Rose, 
And then afterwards, we're gonna just move on with our life. That was certainly interesting, but regardless... Rose, we should really get this part done with. I mean, we literally just took out quite a bit of gods. You know, the spawn gods, the catwalk god, the restricted area entrance gods, the restricted area gods, the cell block gods, which re really is quite a bit. So we've got three gods over here, four in the restricted area. We've got three up there at the catwalk and the restric restricted area entrance and another tree over there. So what I'm trying to say is we've already taken out 13 gods and we're going to take out even more. So we should probably get this done decently soon. Even though it's not exactly... I've just sent Cyber into a death trap. Don't continue making line of sight. Just don't, alright? You walk away. Walk away. Go on, there we go. Now all we gotta do is find a commander, which... Isn't over here. Isn't over here, which means the commander is probably somewhere up here. Not over there. Surely over here, right? Perfect. Now, slight issue. There's a camera. That is way too risky, and I do not think that's... I still somehow managed to lure the... This is not safe. Actually, hold on. That is not what I want, actually. Hold on, let's actually... You know what? Here's what we should do. We should look this camera. While we wait for the commander to figure out what's happening, which... There's a camera there too. Listen, you... Walk over here. Say hi to me. And then walk all the way down here. Now because that... Walk down here. It's not that complicated. Now put your hands up. Now because that door is actually a keycard door, that means that no one should theoretically pathfind through here. Mainly because there is literally no reason to. Unless there is for some reason a spot down here, which I'm pretty sure there isn't. So, that is cyber, right? That is indeed cyber. Alright, we're just gonna leave the guard there because really we can and because there's no reason not to. And then we're just gonna start checking the different areas for a computer. Because I completely missed the location that Cyber gave. We should close that. We should close that before something happens. Now I think Cyber has reiterated the location it's in, so I think it's gonna be in here. And Cyber was right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the computer and then afterwards get right out of here. Assuming that Rose doesn't just wait for 3 years, but I don't think there's any reason why Rose would possibly do that. Right? Now for some reason there's no camera there, which... You know, we would have to deal with if this were, if this weren't no scrambler and we actually just got those disguises and immediately went. Because we kind of had to use the keycard, so, you know. Anyways, where is Cyber? Cyber, why do you have a body bag on you? You should not have a body bag. Where did you put that body bag? Trust Cyber with this, let's not worry too much about it, right? And then I assume Rose is gonna be... There we go. Literally just as I turn over there, the door opens. Cyber, you did not have to hide the commander's body at all. Anyways, let's get out of here. I assume Cyber's gonna go over here too. And that's the daily challenge, so then just under 8 minutes and 50 seconds. It's really not that difficult. I mean, this is simpler than the last one. Cheers everyone, have a great time.